guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I am doing a newer coloring tag, at least a newer tag to the coloring community because this tag actually has been a thing in the book tube community for a long time. But this is the mid-year adult coloring book freakout tag. And like I said, this book has been around the like booktube community for a really long time. But a wonderful YouTuber uh, named Sassy Colors here on YouTube, I will leave her linked down below for you guys to check out. You totally should. She just hit a thousand subscribers and I'm super proud of her. I love her videos. She recently decided to kind of switch this around a little bit and make it a coloring book tag for color tubers. So I'm just going to go through the list of questions. I don't anticipate this video being super long. It's pretty chill of a tag. And at the very end of the video, I will go ahead and tag people. But first things first, I actually want to announce uh, the giveaway winner. So I am actually going to insert that clip right here because I don't actually have the winner offhand yet. I haven't picked it. I'm thinking about picking them a little bit later. So... Let's insert that clip right here. Okay, friends, so here we are picking the winner. So I just have this YouTube, like, random comment picker up here. I put the URL in. I clicked on filter duplicate users. So that way everyone should only been, be in here once. And I put the word lemonade in here. And let's click get YouTube comments. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. I've never used this website before. Oh. Okay, so 17 people entered. Okay, then I think we just have to click on Start Ravel and pick random winner. So let's do it. Oh, that's exactly how you do it. That's so fun. Yay! Sherry Carr, you are the winner. Congratulations. You have 48 hours. I cannot talk today. You have 48 hours to get back to me on Instagram or email. Either Instagram you could send it to my email too. I have that, I believe, in the description box of my videos. And yeah, congratulations, you have 48 hours. That's awesome. So again, congratulations to the winner. Um, right now I have no idea who the winner is going to be, but obviously you guys just heard. So congratulations, you have 48 hours to message me your address. Feel free to message me on Instagram, the coloring one, or my personal one or email me, um, but if I do not hear back from you in 48 hours, I will have to pick a new winner. So there's that, but let's get right into the tag video. So question number one is best picture you've colored so far in 2021, and this was really hard for me. Um, I have a lot of pictures. I like how they turned out, but I'm not like in love. I don't think I have one specifically that I'm like in love with, like that I just am super duper duper proud of. That being said, I do really like how this one came out. Um, I'm not sure if it's my favorite favorite, but it's the first one I thought of and I'm really glad, you know, how it turned out. Like, I'm just happy with it. This is Fairy Tales by Aerie and let me find the page. I maybe should have marked the pages, but that's all right. Um, right here. Back in, I believe, February or March, like end of February, beginning of March, I colored this Rapunzel page and I love Rapunzel. I love this book in general, but I love how this page came out. I believe this was one of the first times I ever used my Statler like dual tip markers. Love how the page came out. Um, I used some white gel pen on the trees. I don't think I used, um, actually that's not true. I used a little bit. Let's see if I can show you guys if it'll focus. I used a little bit of glitter on her like dress a little bit um but it's really hard to see but I just love how this picture came out I definitely think this is one of my best works of 2021 that being said if you ask me again in like a month or two like my answer could change so I just for now like really enjoy this picture next we have what is your most colored book of 2021 hands down has to be stained glass mandala color by colors by Kira Shershneva I have colored 11 pages out of this book and I have nine left. This also goes toward a different question later, but I'm going to try to not spoil that right now. But I have done definitely the most pages in this book. Um, kind of do a quick flip of what I've done. I did two this month already. Uh, that's one of them I did this month. 
did this one I just think this book is so fun so relaxing just super like a super good time to color in it I recommend this book to everybody I've talked about this book countless times on my channel I just highly recommend it to everybody it's such a great book and I also did the color test page which I usually well I can't say I never do I just usually never do I always talk about doing it and I never do it but yeah this is definitely my most colored in book of 2021 so question number three is newly released coloring book you haven't colored in yet but want to so I took this question a little bit of a different path because usually if I get a coloring book I will color in it and I like to do it that way because I don't like to buy books and not color in them I want at least one done in each book but I have already colored one in here and let me just show you guys what I mean so I colored in this page this month it's just like this front page nothing crazy about it I did this page this month I will show this again at the end of my finished pages video at the end of the month so the reason I chose this book is because I haven't done any of like the main images in the book yet which is why I picked this book because I still have yet to really dive into this book I've just done that you know super easy word page at the very beginning um, so this is, did I even say what this book is? I don't even think I did. This is The Circle of Life, A Coloring Journey by this artist whose name I never know how to pronounce so we're not even going to attempt it. If anyone knows how to pronounce their name, please like send me a voice message on like Instagram or something. I have no idea how to pronounce their name. But I love this book a ton and I'm just like so intimidated by the work but I think it's really gorgeous so I'm hoping to color out of it one of these days like one of the main images so the next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year hands down hands down is hannah carlson's newest book it is released in almost every other country i believe except for ours maybe it is just sweden i honestly don't know but it's tales from the forest kingdom by hannah carlson inserting a picture I am beyond excited about that book. I love everything Hannah Carlson puts out. I just love her artwork so much and I'm excited to start collecting her second series of books. I have almost all of the first series. The only one I don't have is Gilcorn. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced but I don't have that book because it's actually not released here in the United States either. I think those two books, The Forest book and Gilcorn, if that's how it's pronounced, are both being released um, in August. And I want that book, I just know I don't need it. But I have most of her first series and I'm really excited to start collecting the second one. So I'm really hoping in August I will pick up that book or order it kind of soon so I get it pre-ordered. It's already July 17th so I just can't believe like how quickly this book is going to be coming out. But yeah, that is my most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Next question is favorite new artist or publishing company that you discovered in 2021? Carla Magana. So the thing is, I knew about her art, so I'm not really basing this off of artists that I just like, like heard about in 2021 because like, I, I didn't really hear of any new new artists in 2021. Um, but I finally I received this as a gift from Jamie Jamie's Coloring Love um, so I finally got one of her books and I, like I'm in love I just want them all now this is Spooky Sweets by Carla Magana the artwork of Carla's is just absolutely gorgeous so so pretty super unique I'm really glad I ended up getting a book of hers thank you so much Jamie I'm really glad I got to try it out I feel like a lot of these pictures are really good for Halloween time but I just yeah I'm really glad I got the chance to see her artwork and color in it and I definitely anticipate buying more of her books in the future the next question is did you try any new coloring techniques this year I'm just trying to think so I you guys know this I have like a huge marker gal I yeah like I really have not branched out in terms of that I really want to get some colored pencils and try shading I'm very intimidated I'm afraid to mess it up and I'm afraid it's gonna take me a really long time to complete a page which is super stupid but it is what it is so, did I try out any new techniques I really don't think so because I 
with white gel pen like making accents and stuff I've all like I've done that since last year so I don't think that's new so yeah I don't really think I've tried out any new coloring techniques this year that was a very boring answer um yeah that's my answer for that this book is back again you guys know what that means the next question is what book do you want to finish the most this year this book 100% um you guys just saw when I was flipping through it I have nine pages left to complete and I kind of did the math and if I do at least I think I did the math correctly I must have two pages a month till the end of the year I will finish it by December um and even I could easily finish it before then but I'm trying to pace myself so this is definitely the book I would love to finish this year question number nine is are there any coloring books you bought this year that you regret I wouldn't say per se that I regret buying this I will say though not 100% my style but I still like it enough to keep it and I bought it very recently. This is Peter Pan by Fabiana Antanasio. I love her artwork. I love it so much. The issue with me is that there's a lot of zen doodly patterns in this book and then I don't know what to do with them. I've had a whip in here for a really long time. Really long time. I got this book in like June. I've had a whip in here since I bought it. So a month and I you, you guys know I don't like whips. See look at this. It's so like zen doodle patterny. I just like don't entirely know what to do with it. But let me show you guys my whip. If I can find it. This is my whip. Um I know like this shouldn't be that hard to finish, but I'm having trouble like finding inspiration to finish it. So again, like I don't regret this book. I really am glad I got it. I just wish there was less patterny and doodly stuff in it if that makes sense Alrighty, we were on to the last question i believe i don't think oh my god i skipped number eight let me go to question number eight before i move on to the last question but question number eight is an easy one for me to answer have you completed any coloring books this year no i have not that explains why i forgot about it i didn't have anything sitting out for that question no i have not completed any coloring books this year i anticipated finishing at least one or two and I didn't so hopefully by December I'll finish the Kira book and hopefully maybe one other but I'm not pushing myself especially with a new job and everything so I'm sorry I forgot that question but the last question I, th I think I didn't skip any other ones is if you could recommend any coloring book that was released this year what would it be 50 ocean miniatures by Camelia Angelkova I didn't realize how much I would love her artwork until I had her books and now I have a feeling I won't stop buying them, but this is, this is so cute. If you're in to ocean creatures, you would really like this book. It's just so cute and it's so fun. And she just came out with a new one, which is Jungle Miniatures, which I feel like I need to pick up because also super cute. I completed this page. Love how it came out. I love how this page came out a ton. So yeah, I would 100% recommend this book, and it's only $4.99, so go get you a copy of it. I will have all the books linked down below in case you're interested in any of these. Um, there are affiliate links. I do make a small commission if you guys buy the books, so if you guys want to use the links, I would absolutely love that. But if you don't want to, I completely understand, but yeah, that is 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. That's the book I would recommend the most that has been released this year. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I need to tag some people. And I haven't really thought about this, so I'm just kind of spewing names. Um, but I think I want to tag Cassie Potato Princess here on YouTube. She hasn't been making a lot of videos lately, so I totally understand Cass Cassie if you don't want to um if you don't want to make this, but I would love to tag you. Um Let's see, let's tag Emily from Color Me Impressed. Would love to see you do this tag as well. And then let's tag Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. I tag the three of you. I will link all three of those channels down below. Go check them out. I would love to, I would love if you guys would check out their channels. And I think that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. I am so close to 700 subscribers. I would love if you guys help me reach that goal. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.